in this video I'm going to take some of these LEDs and put them on the bottom of this Jeep. I'm going to put uh, one over here on this side, one on the other side, and a couple under the dash. Now I got two blues and two greens and each one of these is actually made up of two LEDs because these are 3.7 volts uh, per LED and so to, to run to run six volts through them you have to hook up two of them together and I just soldered little pieces to get uh, the, the, uh, one of the connections together. Now when LEDs come they have two wires coming off of them and one of them is a long one and one is a short one and the long one is the positive and the short one is the negative. So on here I cut them so that this one is the negative and this is the positive and because it's shorter it's easy to tell. So I I'm, I'm soldered this positive and this negative together. So when I hook up the wire I'll hook up the negative over here and the positive over here and then when it hooks up to the battery it will um, light up and it won't burn out the LEDs. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is put a switch into the uh, dash and it looks like this, although I'm going to take the switch out and we're going to mount this into the uh, dash so that there can be a switch to turn the LEDs on and off. So I got these two soldered on and uh, the wire is going to go over here on the side like this. This is the bottom of the Jeep still. That's going to go here. I'm going to run the wires back here around back underneath these wires. I'm going to hot glue it to the uh, frame here and drill a couple holes and run it through these holes if I can. And then over here, I just spliced into the cable, or into the wires, and I uh, wired in the other side. And then it's going to go over here, on this side of the Jeep, and these will go up toward the power in the ground. And i got to uh, get the ones from under the dash uh, wired up, and, and I'll show you those. Okay, so I have these uh, LEDs over here. They're hot glued down. i got it glued over here. I guess got it glued occasionally around here. The wires come over here, then they splice out and have another LED right here, another two LEDs. And I spliced into each of the wires to get the positive and negative connections, and this will be six volts going through here. Then the, uh, I'm getting in the light. The, wire, the ground wire comes over here and connects up to this wire, and this wire goes up to the, to the LEDs in the dash. There we go. And I drilled a little hole down there, right down, right down here, for the wires to go through to go to the dash. Uh, then I also ran this goes up to the front. This the black wire that comes around here. It goes up and connects to is going to connect to the switch that I'm going to put on the dash. And um, then the the LED underneath will also connect to the same side of the switch. And then I'll have a power wire, like this one, come back from the switch, and this is going to connect on to the, uh, to the uh, ground wire coming in, and the red is going to be for the positive. Yes. Right. So anyway, I'm going to get this hooked up, and I'll show you. Okay, so I drilled a half inch hole in here, and this thing came out to be just the right size. This is just the switch. And what I did was I ran all the pos all the positive all the black wires to one pin on this switch and it goes to all the LEDs. Then the other wire that's on here, the other pin is going to go to the uh electric uh black wire behind this uh the master switch because we want the master switch to cut this off as well. So I'll show you how I did that. If you watch my other videos, then yours should be similar. Or if you follow my other videos, your process should be similar. But all the negatives, all the uh, all the negative off the LEDs, they have to run to the ground. And there's no switch on the ground, it just goes straight to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to break the power. We'll turn the power on, all the LEDs will come on, we'll flip the power off, all the LEDs will go off. And it's just cutting the power, not the ground. So, let me get this set up. So, this is the power wire that comes off the switch. And we need to tie this into, like I said, into the wire coming off of the uh, rear master switch. So, in this case, here's the battery wire. It comes now, it goes back to the switch, and then comes back here, and it goes into this 
uh, plastic thing, the plastic adapter. So I went ahead and I cut the shrink wrap off of this wire, and I'm going to solder it, solder this wire onto here. I'm going to cut some off because I don't want all the slack in here, and uh, I'm going to solder it onto here, so that way it will be behind the master switch, which is what we want, because we don't want the LEDs to stay on if we turn the master switch off. So I'll go ahead and get this soldered on, and then I'll show you. Okay, so this power cable is soldered onto there, and what I did is I ended up drilling a hole through here and run it through there under the drive shaft, and it's going to go into the uh, wire manager there, and then it'll be in the wire manager back here, or this will just be in the wire manager like it was before. Now I'm going to put electrical tape around this because I can't get the uh, shrink wrap around it, which kind of stinks. But anyway, it's going to have shrink wrap or uh, electrical tape. So here's the uh, ground wire coming in and what I'm going to do here this is the wire that goes from the ground, the current ground up to the switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, unsolder this joint if I can and solder it into here and then hopefully put, be able to put shrink wrap back on it. If I can't get it apart well then I'll be using electrical tape on this too. But that should be all the last wire connection that needs to occur before the uh, switch will work so let me get it done this is electrical tape on there or it has electrical tape on it now and all this wire mess is contained inside the wire holder and I put some hot glue down on to this wire to hold it down to the plastic so that it will not get in the way or not fall off and the other one the other ground wire or this wire coming in to the ground I did I was able to solder it in so it shouldn't come off and I got the uh, shrink wrap on it too. So alright this has been a long project but let's see if it works. Alright here it is I got the battery put in here plug this in and they are not on. Oh they came on thank goodness they got the LEDs are on under there couple green ones under here and a couple more blue ones on the other side and they kind of shine through a little bit here just because it must be thin plastic all right well that's good the only problem is this is upside down I can handle that good there it is LEDs are in and there's a switch this switch came as part of a two-pack at Radio Shack because one was like 319 and two of them the two-pack was 379 so I got two maybe I'll put another one over here later but has LEDs in it. How nice is that? Gives the kids something fun to do. This is a, a long project with lots of soldering and lots of hot gluing and lots of burned fingers. If you try it, good luck. It shouldn't be too bad as long as you remember that. All the LEDs need to be grounded and all, all the LEDs all need to be run to the switch and then the switch to the power. And that's how I wired it up. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to um, answer them, and I might do another video if, if I uh, get too many questions about this, about how I did it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to um, watch um, these videos. Thanks.